In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to connect two separate forms using the bridge and create command that are part of the edit poly object type or under the edit poly modifier. So let's start by just making a closed shape and then making a copy of that. Uh, just make a copy as the clone type and then move that vertically um, and then move some of these vertices around so you get a little more uh, variation to your form. Alright, and when you're happy with that, add a cross section. Or first, first you have to attach the two lines so they're part of the same line geometry. And then add a cross section modifier and then a surface modifier uh, to produce a surface. And let's bring our step topology down to one. I think by default it'll be at five. So bring it down to one so that um, when we make this uh, editable poly, we don't have too many subdivisions in the surface. So after you've made this form, go ahead and make a copy, a clone of that, and then move that vertically as well. So there's a little bit of a gap between the two forms. And uh, you can rotate that a little bit as well. And so now we want to connect these two forms, so we have to, um, you can either add an edit poly modifier onto one of these. Um, actually, let's add it to both of these. Um, you could also just right click, right click on an object and then convert it to an editable poly, um, but you'll lose a lot of this history, or all of this history. So now we want to connect these two, so you have to attach them first. And when you're done attaching them, Go ahead and open up the subdivision or sub objects of the edit poly and go to border. And we want to create a bridge between these two openings so that we create a, uh, a connected form. So go ahead and select border and uh, select both of those openings. And then under edit border, borders, you have an option of bridge. If you select the button to the right of bridge, you get the actual options or settings. So go ahead and select that. Um, Looks like mine is bridging uh, correctly. If it's not, you can change this twist value so it'll rotate where it begins this bridging. Um, but, but I'm going to stick with the default since it seems to be working. You can also increase the segments if you want uh, so you get more subdivisions within this bridge. I'll just select two to make it uh, uniform with these uh, original forms. And then when you're happy with it, go ahead and say OK. All right, so now we're going to create uh, a copy of this. So go ahead to edit clone and copy and move that copy over and let's rotate that as well. And then let's, let's actually scale that so we get a little bit of variety to these forms. Um, so now I want to create a bridge between these two objects. So I'm going to rotate and try to get two flat areas um, so I have some pretty clean bridges um, to connect these forms. Okay, so once you have your two forms, uh, now you want to attach these as well. And uh, instead of border, we're going to go to polygon subobject level. And now you can just go and uh, select two polygons, one from each of the forms, and select bridge um, under the edit poly list, edit polygon list. And it's the same options here. So you, if the if the um, um, the bridge is not uh, working properly, you can change this twist value on on twist one or twist two, and it it can sort of uh, you can you can just see which one's working. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and leave. Actually, I'm gonna make uh, three segments. You can also adjust this taper value if you want it to bulge a little bit in the middle of the bridge, and say OK, and then you can just start selecting some of these polygons and and making bridges. Um, between them. So I'm just going to keep going with this a little bit. And you'll see that these are actually becoming part of the geometry. So when I create these bridges, these are now part of the full geometry. So these aren't a modifier, so I can't go back and, and modify these values. All right, and once you've created the, the connections you want between these two objects, um, you can also use the create 
um, option under edit geometry if you're missing some parts of your polygons or if you want to fill some holes. So let's say we want to fill this hole here. I'm going to go ahead and delete all of these interior polygons. And now I've, I'm left with the sort of holes that I want to cap. So if you want to create a polygon to fill these holes, um, you have to go to the polygon subobject level and then the create button under edit geometry will allow you to start to create polygons. Um, so to create a polygon you don't have to have your snaps on though you, though you can have them on. Um, you just want to hold the cursor over these vertices and you have to be pretty careful because um, a lot of times you'll miss the vertice and part of the polygon will be way off in the distance so just go ahead and make sure you're directly over these vertices when you create these polygons. Okay, so you can see it, it uh, creates a new polygon in place in uh, place of that hole. So I'm going to do the same on the back side of this form. Okay, and now I have a solid surface um, that connects these volumes to these bridges here, this volume to these bridges. So now if I add a mesh smooth modifier on top of this entire geometry, you can see it actually creates a connected object there and it becomes very smooth. So you could now um, perform other uh, operations on this editable poly at the either polygon subobject level if I selected some of these polygons um, and begin to delete them. I'll create holes in this surface. Right. Um, or you could uh, you know, start working with the edges and chamfering some of these edges to create openings or using the vertices to create openings. Um, and these forms, uh, since I've made a, a list of, um, f since I've just been adding modifiers, I can always go back to this original form and begin to adjust some of the locations of these vertices and it should update um, all the way to the final geometry.